Today I'm escaping Rochdale for a little while and going over into Yorkshire. <laughs> so-called Barney because it was found in a barn and dug out with a tractor. Similar weather conditions as well to what it was when I saw this car before. Similar but not the same because for one thing it's not right at the top of a hill any longer. It's down on the other side of this one in Rippenden. I think it's Rippenden. It could be Halifax actually. That's a rather unusually shaped house. That's an impressive brolly, that's how I will say. So, Project Barney. Is it a project or are you just calling it Barney? Barney. Right, Barney, yeah, good. Good. Um, the Legron man's stuffing a battery into its engine hole and uh, he appears to be struggling. Because that stupid panic's in there. It's an inanimate object. It cannot possibly be stupid. You can't call my car stupid. He just did, even though it doesn't make any sense. Need to synchronise. The old will it start thing. And the answer is... <laughs> yes. I knew it was going to start. I wouldn't be here otherwise, would I? Will it move away from that uh, rather orange Astra there? It does appear to have a brake light out. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, Is it? We're still getting Jesus, we. <laughs> Sounds fantastic, actually. Is it a low mileage? Uh, 65 is it? 63,000. Funnily enough, they both come out of the same place, the Allegro and this, and both of them have got 63,000 on. I know why that is. 63,000 miles is the mileage at which the person who owned this car decided to stop driving it. Yeah. Simple as that. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Right. Coming in handy with that brolly then. Go on, what do you say? It's hardy enough. So basically we've serviced it yeah. um, and it wouldn't start once we'd serviced it. It wasn't pulling fuel through from the tank. The pump in the tank was knackered and the top of the tank was rusted. So we've put another tank on it with another pump. Supplied by Allegro man because he had one. Which is supplied by me. Fortunately for him, I'd broken one a couple of years ago. So we had one in stock. Yes. How delightful. Yes. Just like the car. Yes. Thank Impressive. <laughs> so there's some brakes that need sorting out on it as well. The and brake, welding. Yes, 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 brakes and a lot more cleaning. Yeah, he's done some cleaning. Yes. You like cleaning though, don't you? Yes, and epic hoovering. Yeah. Hoovering? Yes. I thought you said you cleaned it, Matthew. They've still got bits of horse on that. My Henry, my Henry was having a nervous breakdown, he was overheating. <laughs> it does look a lot better though. And it's uh, not only that, it does have that proper R8 smell to it yes, as well. It yes, and cheap and cows. Yeah. Cheap cows and R8. Yeah. I do love that smell. Because it is strong enough to actually uh, uh, overpower the smell of sheep and cows. Yes. Japanese glue, I think. Yeah. It's had a middle and a back box put on. So it's almost ready to go then, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well, it just needs uh, a bulb in the back. He'll, he'll have it by the end of the month. Yes. The optimist, yes. Very good. Yes. I think... Uh, maybe we're... it's going to... Uh, I'll be going to run revival for some... For uh, some I think we can call that a success then, can't we? Yes. The next, uh, yeah, because the next thing is it, 
like Rove Revival for a Campbell and uh, gear up all change. You know, and yeah. He's doing that for you then, is he? Well, I will be I will be getting I will be booking Craig for that. I haven't booked it yet, but you know, it will be happening. Excellent. Yes. Johnny Crook's what? 90% beard. 90% beard? Yes. It's just it's just a long beard, isn't it? Well, Matt saw me last week with a beard, didn't you? Yeah, but you just look like a cow. That was lamp. a month of growth. You and it look... was it wasn't much at all. You just looked like a powerful lamp though, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I saw you the other week and you didn't have a beard. been invited into a place called the Den of Allegro Man. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a big, big den that's upstairs. It has Allegro's in here. Whenever Allegro Man comes down to my place, I always make him a cup of tea and then I make him another one. So, I only have coffee. <laughs> but I'm only joking. <laughs> Coffee will do. What are you doing to me? I've cleaned the cup. I've cleaned the cups if you noticed. <laughs> I'm taking this leg roast face off. How are you going to do that? Well, just unscrewing the grill with the lights. So you are the leg roast surgeon? This Allegro in here is um, orange, and uh, this is a Series 3, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I can tell by the squared off rear lamps. Series 3 HL 1.5 twin car. Oh! Twin carb. So this is a restoration job, isn't it? Um, a semi one, I would say, because I don't think it actually needs m actually massive amount of welding. It's just I know that it needs some of the front, hence why I'm taking its face off. So, well, it's just basically it's, it's a saved car, isn't it? Yes. This is one sturdy bench indeed. Look at the size of that vice and how much pressure has been applied to that bar to make it bend like that. You poor elephant's trunk. What have you got? I've got more keys than Bolty's wife swapping party. I've got as many as that, <laughs> but he's not invited. <laughs> Carbon or Mr. Jenny wife swappers, aren't they? Who? Carbon or people on Carbon's are Jenny. People on caravans are known for wife swapping. That's a bit of a generalisation, isn't it? Matt's very capable of generalising. I'm known in both you regards. Uh, this one is a, a, a Series 2, I believe. Allegro Vandam Pla. And inside is ours. Leather seats and leatherette door cards. And it smells like a proper lovely old car. I am very, very keen on this one, actually. This is the car that replaced the Austin 1300, really. And with that interior, I think it makes it just as good. Oh, gosh, I made it sound like I don't like Allegro. So I've just been told off for calling this an Allegro in the first place because uh, it's not an Allegro. It is just a Vanden Pla or Vanden Plas. Vanden Pla, Vanden Pla, Vanden Plas. Which one is it? Vanden Smash. Random Pla 1500. Yeah, well, I thought the S was silent. Look at this one. It's an L registered, which means it was. Uh, what was it? One, one of the very first ones, basically, because that's the year they came out. Is this a 1700, this one? 1750, yeah. 1750. That is a 1750 Sport. That means it's fast. When it's not locked up in here and then we have the old uh, estate version with a cardboard wing but it's a series one estate as well which is very very rare and i believe there was only ever in production for about six months so this could be well one of very few left 
Uh, so as well as the tucked away barn find in there, there's a Mark One Astra as well. In pea green, the kind of pea green which... Reed green! What? Reed green! Reed. I thought you said pea green. Reed green. Well I was going to say... I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat peas that were this colour myself. Or you could call it mushy pea green. I don't mind a Mark One Astra. And I don't even mind the BMW E30. I prefer this to the ones that come afterwards. This is why we call him Allegro Man, because there's one there, and one there, and there's one there, and there's one there as well. Uh, that is a Mercedes, I, I had a test drive in that. And no doubt I'll be having a test drive in this one at some point. So that's just a little walk around of Allegro Man's area. And I've just made this observation. My car, and that's Matthew's. Mine's a saloon, his is a hatch. But I've never noticed this before, the number plates around is different. Look at that. Strange. Strange. Not actually strange, but I pointed that out to Matthew, and it was one of those things I was expecting him to have already known, but he didn't. So that's the strange thing. Who's got the best beading, Matthew or me? How do you pronounce Yorkshire with a Yorkshire accent? Is it like this? Is it Yorkshire? Or is it Yorkshire? Or is it Yorkshire? Or is it... York, York. I don't think it's any of those actually. Really enjoying this weather now.